solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on both sides, and two distributions. We're asked to solve for y, and one of the first things that I want to do with this equation is I want to get rid of these two parentheses. And they told us in the problem type how we're going to do this. We're going to distribute to get rid of those parentheses. So, starting on the left, I want to multiply everything inside the parentheses by negative 3. That'll get rid of the parentheses. So negative 3 times 4y is negative 12y. Negative 3 times negative 6 is positive 18. And then since this 6y is not in the parentheses, I'm just going to bring it down. It doesn't get multiplied by the negative 3. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to distribute the 4. 4 times the y on the right hand side is 4y, and 4 times the 3 is a positive 12. So this is looking better because I don't have all those parentheses anymore. So before I continue though, I want to try to see if I can simplify it anymore by combining like terms. On the right hand side, the 4y plus 12, there aren't any like terms. But on the left hand side, I do have a positive 6y and a negative 12y. And I can put those together. Negative 12y plus 6y. The signs are different, so I subtract and keep the sign of the larger. Those actually combine to give me negative 6y. And then I'm just going to bring down the 18 and also bring down the 4y and the 12 from the other side. So again, this is looking better. I still have two y's though. I've got one y on the left, one y on the right. We need to get those together on one of the sides. And as a general rule, we like to move the smaller one. Uh, we don't have to move the smaller one, but it makes things a little bit easier. So the smaller one is a negative 6y. I'm going to add 6y to the left. And I can do that as long as I add 6y to the right as well. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. That will cause this one to cancel, leaving me just the 18 equals 4y plus 6y is 10y. And then the 12 just comes down. So this is better because now I only have one y. But I still have to get that y by itself. So to move the terms that don't have y's to the other side would be my next step. So I want to move that plus 12 by subtracting 12, which means I also need to subtract 12 from the other side of the equation. On the right hand side, that gives me now just the 10y. We're almost there trying to get the y by itself. On the left hand side, that gives me a 6. And from here I can divide both sides by 10 to get the y by itself and I get y equals 3 fifths. And that's our answer once we've reduced that fraction.